That's a confirmation. But how do you know if you are practicing right in this? This unless you have guide, guidance. The coaching program in the sky is ideal to get the, yeah. the objective parameter because we record, we record the homeworks mm -hmm. to verify if you are advancing or not, which I think is also what you say, what you meant with this. You need to record yourself playing. When you record yourself playing the thing, the, all our homeworks in this method are recorded. It's not mandatory because some people, don't, some people are not doing it or don't want to do or very shy or whatever, that's no problem. It's not mandatory, but ideally, most of the, of, of the students, they record them themselves, they record their practices and, and what they do. So they, 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 they have verification already, that is the proof, because they say, I so play this. Yeah, yeah, okay. of course, they will say, in February I was playing like this. In last Christmas, I did scales at this speed. And here it is the video of me mm -hmm. doing it. Not that I say, here it is. You, you click play and it comes the guy doing it, actually. Think or counting the stuff or all the homeworks we have, the, the, the proof that you are doing it, and the proof that you are really efficient in this thing is that you can do it and that will record it on, in unlisted videos. Mm -hmm. Those are homeworks. Other teachers will be very afraid to, to ask a student to record, <laughs> to record himself because they, they, they will see maybe this guy sucks and I'm like, ah, I, will, I will take him to record. Yeah, even anyone, even playing the wrong thing and you record it and have the proper coach there and the proper teacher and if you have discrimination to, the, to distinguish from what is right and what is not, and light and darkness, even if you play wrong and you record yourself, you can correct it. Mm -hmm. Most of the problem is when we don't know, we don't know, and we think we know. <laughs> Out of these guys that don't know and think they know, some of them maybe would like to know. If it is not very... Um, if it is under the table, or some <laughs> guys there, what I said, 
uh, they were sending me questions in, 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 in videos and cutting the hair from the take of the, of the member. And then, then I put the, 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 the mask of this, what is this thing? Um, anonymous. That, I, mean, yes. yeah, I, I put the things, but you know what, don't send me, I understood because the guy said, I belong to a circle of people who is a bit inimical, mm -hmm. and they will, they will uh, bully me if they see I am asking you questions because they are against you. Uh -huh. I, said, I said, well, I hope they play well, because that I, I never see people play well against this method. But anyway, the thing is that he was afraid to, that the friend will see and then he caught the, the put these zones also in the head. I hate this thing because one day I well, before I received materials like this from the stones, and then one day uh, I observed that the guy was playing all twisted, but in the zoom you can see just the hands, and he was actually with the leg like this or oh, so. Wow. So when you when you record something, you record the whole thing here. How do you see me here? You see how I hold the guitar, my posture, how if I have the shoulders relaxed or not, how I'm seated, the chair you are using, is it is high enough or not, all of these details. So don't cut the head. This is one thing. And therefore verify it. How we verify we are doing right? We record it. We have it recorded then in your list of videos and then you can see it. This is me one year ago. You compete with you and, and learn better proof that you can improve day by day. And we could send this uh, through Skype or like offline to you and you also check it to let us know if you're actually of practicing course. right. Yeah, of course yeah. we have that there. And then also this is very cool for me because you cannot say, I didn't do the mistake. <laughs> yeah. I just said, minute 3, 25 <laughs> seconds. I see. Right? And then the guy see that and I go, oh, wow, I love it. I, I, because why? Now you can improve it. Paco said this, we have to get uh, assurance of what we do and also continue but objective because if, that's why people alone cannot do this thing again and by watching a video you don't do it actually. someone now will watch this video and think now I got it but they, they don't record themselves they don't have a teacher they don't follow a method proper they have no discipline no discipline means they, they don't know how to practice even five minutes right without getting deviated to another thing or... I told you, I told one guy, show me how you practice. Do as if I am not here. Mm -hmm. And then, then he started to do it. And I said, oh my God, they deviate like anything. I wish we have a camera hidden there with the guys in the apartment <laughs> and see what they did. They said, we came the old days, so they were very proud. We were practicing there, you know. It came this and this and this guy. And I said, okay, I trust you, man, but... If you show me a recording of how you do... I could verify it, sir. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Recordings are useful. In my time, to record a video, you have to be a millionaire. It was just the, 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 the rich people, you know, with this... Eight, what do they have? Eight millimeters or something. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. That's like... <laughs> So before recording, what are you saying? Now they just put the damn telephone there and record the thing. And then, then you have it. And then now you talk with an author, with an expert about what you're doing. And then now you get really another vision of you come to, to, to know more about you, mm. about who you are. Actually, music is only about you. So it's important. Walter has, Walter. Stella, stone number one in this homework. He had a channel probably, with, I don't know, 150 maybe or 200 more. Mm. I don't think it's 100, it was 100 videos, it was a long time ago. And he records everything. So he knows if he's going. Actually, this is the proof they are learning. It's a proof for you. Don't be shy to do it. It's easy. You just put the thing and that's all. And we will, nobody will blackmail you with it. That comes after. <laughs> Uh, because some people also, of course, they say, well, I played bad, how I will record? Man, listen, listen, you need to see you as if it is not you playing, as if it is other guy. Oh. Then you become objective. Then you start to know the meaning of what practicing is, that which upgrades your play. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería 
a un músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música, debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el, en el que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas 